The explanation I received that this music store did not satisfy my curiosity about the structure of the tombak and how the sound is amplified inside its body and its throat. I think it would be a good idea to talk to a percussionist. I met with an instrumentalist who also crafts the tombak. Mohammad Mirzakhani told me the sound is amplified best when dense wood is used in crafting the instrument. Walnut, apricot, and ash woods are the most common. If you want to get the best sound, the bowl and the throat must have very accurate sizes. The proportions, as well as the conics inside the bowl, really matter. A fascinating feature of the tombak is that, apart from a musical instrument, it can convey cultural messages. Iranians spend a lot of time and money decorating them. Some are even sold solely as artwork. Handicrafts stand out in the tombak. If you take a tombak abroad, apart from its sound and music, it reflects Iranian art with its calligraphy and katam inlay. The tombak is so rich in notes that we can find large musical ensembles composed entirely of tombak or together with other percussion instruments. They provide rhythm and harmony. Now we have tombak ensembles. The players perform continuously for 45 minutes and the audience just listens to tombak. A wood block is shaped in a turning machine and all the details are carefully chiseled. Then sanding and smoothing, finished with shellac to give it a lovely shine. And finally, the main elements, the sheepskin or calf skin. There you go, the chanting and mood booster sound from Tombak.